Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll guide you through the process of creating a forest plot using GraphPad. Forest plots are typically used to display epidemiological data and are often used in subject area reviews to summarize previously published findings. The forest plot is not necessarily a meta-analytic technique but may be used to display the results of a meta-analysis or as a tool to indicate where a more formal meta-analytic evaluation may be useful. So, whether you're a student, researcher, or data enthusiast, let's dive in and learn how to make a forest plot on GraphPad. When a ratio, e, g, odds ratio, is being compared, the null has a value of 1 and the scales are logarithmic. Regardless of the type of comparisons being made, each study contributes one tree to the forest from which a trend may become evident, even if the individual studies are not all statistically significant. The first step to create this type of graph on GraphPad Prism is to enter the results for each study into a separate data set column. Enter in each column the odds ratio itself, as well as the high and low confidence limits, computed elsewhere. The order of those three values doesn't matter. Label the studies by entering column titles. Step 2. Once you have your data, click on Insert and choose New Graph of Existing Data. On the Graph menu, make sure Mean Slash Median and Error is selected, and on the Plot option select Median with Range and click OK to generate the graph. To add a vertical line on the 1, double-click on the X axis to open the Format Axis dialog. In the Additional Ticks and Grid Lines section, set the coordinate on the axis where the tick or line should appear. Check the box to show either a tick or a grid line. If the coordinate is at a location where there already is a regular number or label, the label you enter in the additional ticks section is shown and the regular label will be hidden. Once the plot is created, you can further customize it by right-clicking on various elements, e, g, axis labels, data points, or legend, and selecting the desired formatting options. These steps provide a general outline of how to construct a forest plot using GraphPad Prism. The specific options and functionalities may vary slightly depending on the version of Prism you are using. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel. See you at the next one.